What's up guys and welcome to The Deer is Watching and welcome back to a brand new Three Random Horror Games video. Now as you guys know, this is a series on the channel where we check out three completely random horror games all in one video. So we play through the entire thing, it's going to be a fun video, there's going to be a lot to experience and uh, trust me, you're going to want to watch this one. The middle game that we're going to be checking out is going to be interesting. So the first game we have here though is called The Deer is Watching and it's a game where a deer is going to be watching us and I think we're going to be watching him in the shower, as weird as that sounds. I saw a screenshot, I don't know what we're doing in this one. The second game though we have is called Maze of Bouncy Bear, which looks like they saw Gar Garna Ban Ban and Poppy Playtime and they're like, all right, I want some of that hype. And they, they're just trying to like create that same thing. I don't know. The third game that we have is called Moth House, a game where we're gonna be stuck in a house with moths. Let's go ahead and press play on the demo though and hop into the first game. All right, where's this deer at? Are we, what the heck? Are we in his house right now? He's got a bunch of cameras on us. He really wants to make sure we don't go anywhere. Interesting start to the game. Oh, there he is. Hello, deer. How you doing there, friend? The deer is watching. I don't know if this is supposed to be a comedy game or not, but we're going to find out. Guys, let's get some deer hype in the comment section down below. All right, let's get some deer emojis. Get this guy hyped up. All right, look at this. He invited us into his beautiful home. Got some beautiful artwork and some cameras all monitoring everything we do. Take the pills. Okay, give me. I took them. Nice. I, I don't think I actually took them. I think I just shook them up and then just like put them in my pocket. How do I get out of here? Hello? What am I doing in here? I'm just trapped. Ooh, a mug. Can I? Oh, who's there? Oh, keep pretending he is still watching. Okay. Um, he's watching. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Yeah, wh why is a deer monitoring me? Don't look at the cameras. He is still watching. Okay. I won't look at the, I'm looking down. I'm looking down. I will help you to escape. Well, why'd your hand come back under like that? You want a high five before you let? Oh, what's this? Don't trust him. Don't trust him. Don't tr don't trust him. I trust him, dude. Unless that deer somehow grew human hands. Watch that actually be the case. What's that noise? What are you doing? Hey! Oh my! I thought I okay. I thought I was dead. Another cup. Smash it quick. All right, those never smash somehow. What's this? Only allowed to open this safe if you are a deer. Well, how do you know I'm a deer or not? Am I? I have no legs. I could be a deer, honestly. That could be the ending. Oh. Oh, it's, oh my goodness. Dramatic room. Oh, he was he was in the shower. I saw him. Let me in there. Let me in there, deer. Let me see. What is going on? There's no way he was actually in the shower, dude. That's some kind of, like, elevator or something that leads to, like, some other world. Uh-huh. I'm on him. Wait, does this light... Every time you come into this room, the light just dramatically turns on. Uh, wait, why this sink... Did the sink just make like a computer noise or what was that? Oh, that's the light turning off. Oh, we got another. No, I threw that one over. Oh, here we go. We can. Oh, um, well, not going to know what that one said. If you guys saw it, let me know in the comments. But <laughs> I really hope that didn't have the code for the safe on it. Where's that coming from? Where's is it over here? Where is that? Oh, is it the? Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you for the camera. Um, sure, I'll I'll do something with it. Oh, okay, lights turned off again. What do you What do you want me to do with this though, buddy? Huh? Just take some photos. All right, I'll take. Oh, well, that's it. Wait, I see something on the wall on the floor. Wait, I can't use it again. Oh, stay here. It's safe here. What this one say? Don't trust him. Oh, it said something there. Dude, I'm looking for that code. All right, he will trick you. All right, got it. Oh my goodness, this room, man. All right, again here. What? Oh, like he's trapped here again. I don't see a code in here anywhere, though. Let's check this room. Oh, okay. Dude, it's so easy to throw this thing. Oh, 1985. Oh, my gosh. Two years away. Okay, 1985. Let me see. One. Um, can I not crouch? Nine. Eight. Five. Oh, what's this? A crowbar. Oh, that's for the door. Ah, okay. Where are we at now? Another part of the deer's house. He obviously knows we're in here, right? Like, we literally walked up on him in the shower. It probably scared him. So he definitely is aware that we're here. And he's probably putting on some clothes right now to come kill me. What is that? Oh, all right, really? <laughs> the deer chase scene. The deer chase scene. What's he doing? <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm getting in the thing. Oh, Thanks for playing demo. That was it. That I mean, hey, the deer was watching. The game is the title is no lie. <laughs> he was watching. All right, let's go to the next game. All right, guys, here we are with the next game. Maze of Bouncy. What happened to the music? 
Oh, now it's, it's back again. Maze of Bouncy Bear. So, uh, this is a game that came out, and honestly, with the how the title looks, how the monster looks, the lighting, everything, this is giving me like they saw Garner Band Man and they, like, hey, I want some of that. Give me, <laughs> give me some of that. All right, so. I think, uh, you know, my expectations for this one aren't the highest, but we're gonna give it a shot. Let's go ahead and press play and hop in to the maze of Bouncy Bear. Okay, look at, dude, what in the Garden of Bad Bad is this? <laughs> oh boy, all right. This looks like, wait, remember that other Poppy Playtime game, the clone that we played a, like a month ago, a month and a half ago? I don't know, I don't remember what that one was called. It's got like the lighting and graphics of that game. But then, like, the art of, like, Garden of Ban Ban. It, it's like they combine the two games. Showtimes. March 19... Oh, wow. We're all the way in 1983. Not bad. Rules. Do not touch Bouncy Bear. Do not go into the maze alone. Do not go in the dark. Do not run. So, like, if there's any... Like, down there where it's dark, you cannot go in there. All right? You don't want to know what happens. Ah, this is Bouncy Bear. Hello, my name is Bouncy Bear. Can you make it out of my maze? Dude, I almost feel like this is some kind of, like, social experiment. <laughs> That they just released. <laughs> Mr. Mons says, eat everything if you want to not, if you want me to not eat you. Wait, but if I eat everything, then you're definitely going to want to eat me because I'll be like big and, you know, stronger and I'll, you'll, I'll have more fat on my bones. What is this? Why is there just like a door over there I can't go in? And where am I? On the sun? Like what? <laughs> what is out there? <laughs> All right. Well, let's go into the maze of Bouncy Bear. I'm assuming I press this button. E, thank you. Ah, anything different? If you can't find the exit, hopefully someone will come to help you. Yeah, someone will. Surely. Surely I won't be stuck in this maze for the next 25 minutes running around in it. Wait, you can't run? You you can't run. I'm pressing shift. You literally cannot run. You are only walking through this whole maze. <laughs> Who made this? What is this? Why can't I run? Do I have legs? No, I have no legs. I can't run. I mean, hey, that makes sense why you can't run. I'm a floating ghost i'm a floating spirit so i'm just forced to just float around in this maze is there i hear something i heard something behind me or like a ding ding like some kind of like little noise so is my only goal just to find the exit here and that's it this is like dark deception but like nothing happening in the game <laughs> It's like dark deception, but no running, no no abilities, nothing. They need to add some abilities if they're gonna just make this like a maze game. But th there's not even a monster in here. Is that the e dude? Did we already find the exit? That kind of looks like an exit. It's not. Okay, that's just the lighting. I don't know where this bouncy bear is. By the way, my sensitivity is so slow. Like turning around, if he's behind me, I'm dead. <laughs> By the time I turn around, he's gonna have eaten me already because I turn so incredibly slowly. Oh, I hear. Uh oh, wait, there's spooky noises. Uh oh, the hunt has started. <laughs> is it really a hunt, though, if I can't run? I can't wait. What is it? Oh, no. <laughs> there he is. The, the pink cockroach. He's chasing me. Wait, what do I do, though? I can't run away. <laughs> wait, so, okay, I can't run and he can't run either. So it's really not that bad if you think about it. Neither of us can run <laughs> for some reason. We're both forced to just walk after each other. It's like it's like if like Jason like it was chasing after you, but he couldn't run like it's literally just like that It's a game where if Jason was hunting you, but he didn't teleport He just walked after you and you couldn't run either. You just walked after like away from him He is okay. Wait, he's actually slowly approaching us. I think very slowly dude What am I playing right now? All right? Well guys, I've just been walking around and honestly, I forgot he was behind me But look he's getting a little bit closer. I don't know why he's so blurry too. Dude, I'm telling you this is the same developer of that clone poppy playtime game that we played last month because it's got that same blur effect on it which i don't know why it's on oh bouncy bears behind him <laughs> watch out guys bouncy bears behind him oh my goodness he's actually but he's slowly catching up so i, I honestly i don't know what we're gonna do here like do you just have to find the maze before he slowly walks up to you <laughs> or the maze exit because like i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do here wait this is a dead end uh oh the end of the bound the maze of the bouncy bear yep uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my god, that was so loud. They put a FNAF jump scare sound on it. Dude, this has got to be some kind of social experiment. I refuse to believe it. Like, what is this? You can't run through the whole maze. You have to walk. They are just slightly faster than you. So then you're, you're both just forced to walk. 
and the jump scare noise is a FNAF jump scare. I don't know what FNAF that's from. Let me know if you guys know in the comments, but that is literally from FNAF. All right, I I'm going to I'm gonna try to find this maze exit. Uh, what if there's not even an exit? Uh, think about that, right? If, th if this game is just made to troll everyone, like, think about it. I wouldn't even put an exit in the maze. I would just have it be just be like a giant maze so people spend, like, hours looking through it, and there's no way out. Oh, no, guys, the hunt has started. Oh, no, what are we going to do when they slowly walk after me? What am I going to do? I'm, uh, we're so dead. I don't know. <laughs> I've just been walking around this maze. Oh, no. We lost, not the bouncy bear. Wait a minute, why is he called the bouncy bear if he's not actually bouncing? If you think about it, he's just walking after us. Kind of gliding in a way, really, but I don't, okay. I'm dead again, it's, I don't know what it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I mean, I wanna beat this, but like I, I like I said, I honestly, I think this there is no, there's no exit. It doesn't exist. Oh my gosh, guys, there's a map. It, it's a very blurry map, but there is a map. <laughs> Why is this blur effect on every- okay, so I've got to go this way I gotta go out there and then turn right the first right and then go straight Okay, I, that seems way too easy, but we're gonna give this a shot If this actually is the exit to the maze though, I'll take it I'm, I'm <laughs> What's the point of having a maze if you're just gonna tell everyone how to escape it, you know If you think about it that way, but I, you know, I'll take it. Why not? Alright, so I go through here, I turn right and then I go straight and then the exit should be like right there. And maybe I have to like wrap around through a few walls. I don't know. I probably should have taken that into account. But is that the exit? No. Okay. I think it, I think it's further up. Uh oh, the monsters are about to spawn in. Oh no! Not the monsters! No! Not the bouncy bear! Please! Anything but the bouncy bear! Don't! I don't want to see him, man. What, the exit should be like here, shouldn't it? Did that map lie to me? What is? What? There's nothing here. The funny thing is, we were like, oh, there it is. There it is. It's got to be to the left. We were so close to the... Oh, my gosh. Really? All right. Uh, let's just... I'm just going to go out the exit. All right? I'm just going to go... I'm defeated right now. <laughs> I'm going out the exit. Goodbye, bouncy bear maze. Thanks for the fun. What's going on? Oh, oh, we're... Oh. What's happening? What is... That is so loud. Oh, my gosh. My ear... What is going on? Oh, there's someone in front of me. What do I do? Do I go back into the maze? What? There's someone right there! They sound like a giant Lego block coming up to me. Oh, they got a teddy bear in the dark. Hmm. Thanks for playing. Well, that was the Maze of the Bouncy Bear. And you can't say otherwise. That was definitely Maze of the Bouncy Bear. So, <laughs> that was an interesting game. It obviously needs a ton of work, and I honestly, I don't know if it, it's like a troll game, or if... It, uh, if they're, I don't know. I, like, I don't want to be mean. <laughs> so I'm just going to say the game needs quite a bit of work, you know? But hey, it could be fun. You know, we got Garna Bam Bam. We can have Maze of Bouncy Bear up there with him. Why not? There's enough room up there for everyone. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go on to the next game. All right, guys. Here we are with the final game, Moth House. Um, game where there's going to be a house with moths. What could go wrong? Let's press start and hop in. This is going to be a fun one, right? Should be fun. You go wrong, you know, like I'm saying, it's just a bunch of giant moths. They can't kill you, so. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition. Unfortunately, I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch, then I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species, and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. Okay, with all my love, your dad. Uh, so that means our dad turned into a, a moth monster, and he with like let him free. I don't know. Whoa, this is his house. This is a cool looking game. It's very unique looking. I like it. Oh, little mouse. Nothing wrong with that. And of course, our dad lives in a mega mansion. How do I capture these moths? That's the real question. I'm trying to free them. Use the mouse wheel to change the item. Aha! Come here! Whoa! Use tab to open the backpack. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna capture all of these. I mean, why not, right? Might as well just capture every single moth in this house. Try to clean it up in here a little bit. There's a lot of them. Oh my goodness, man. This is awesome. It's like ASMR cleaning in a way. Just picked up so many moths. 
Is there like a limit to how many? I have 41 American Dagger moths. That's kind of cool. I saw some more back here though, wasn't there? Oh yeah, give me these. Give me these. I don't know what these are. They better not be American Dagger moths, but I'll take them. Give me all of them. I don't think I'm... Am I collecting these? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, our, our thingy... Oh, I was going to say it's about to run out. Oh, yeah, another one. Nice. All right, let's head further into the house. See what else we can find in here. So, wait, where do I let them out, though? Do I just, like, walk to a door and then they it opens and lets them out? Or how does that work? Pick up. Ooh, what's this? A little radio or something? What is, what is this? Read. Oh, it tells me. Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communicating with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz with the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbals. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring mouth, moth populations and their behavior. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Hmm. Thank goodness he just casually left us this note. Very helpful. All right, let's go this way. Open. Hello? Oh, we got the Mac Daddy of Moths. Holy, there's so many here. Can't wait to collect all of these bad boys. Like, look at this has got to be like a few hundred dagger mouth moths. And I know all my moth types, and there's a lot of them here. So I will collect all every single one of them that I could possibly find. See how many I'm getting right now? We are crushing it. Oh my goodness. Did I get how many did I get? Holy, we got a lot of new ones. We got a lot of new ones. I'll take it. Give me that too. All right, then we got all the good ones here. Oh, hey, a duck. Turn this off. Oh, it quacked. Oh. Every time I click it, it, it quacks. That's kind of cool. Give me this. What is this? Ooh, a little crowbar. Ooh, a little cooking. Okay. In a rotten, forgotten kitchen. That seems like a good idea. Yeah, this is definitely our dad's house, though. Look at all the moth pictures and stuff. Ooh, more moths. Uh, F to light, put out, match. Put it out. Maybe that'll, like, attract more of them. Well, actually, you would think having it on would attract moths, right? Because every time I'm walking around with, like, a, a light on my phone, walking around outside, the moths, they just come up and they just start attacking me. <laughs> hey, what is that? Okay, what is that? All right, I was not expecting a giant moth in the house. What? What is that? What's it doing to me? Huh? Oh, I'm in the basement. Whoa! So I take it our dad is that giant moth, right? There's something satisfying about this game. Just going around, like, collecting moths off the wall, you know? Kind of like it. And, oh, there's more over here. Hold on. As much as I want to leave this room, dude, there's too many moths in here. I need them all. Holy, we have 148 American dagger moths, 123 leopard moths. That's a lot. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to get out of this room. I think I'm just collecting the same moth at this point, but like I want all of them. It's like Pokemon. I'm trying to collect them all. All right, let me out. So wait, that big thing. Yeah, that's got to be our dad, right? He turned into like a giant moth and now he's roaming the halls of his own home collecting people. Does it look like he had a few other people in there, right? Okay, so wait, turn off the light maybe? Because the light obviously attracts it, so maybe it, if it sees the light, it kills us. I don't know. I mean, I don't like sitting in the dark either, but you gotta do what you gotta do. He's also kind of silent. He just, like, appeared. Started attacking us. Okay, I got quite a bit here. So wait, how do I capture him, though? He's probably, like, the king moth. Like, that's, like, that should be the goal, to collect whatever that thing is. Ooh, what's this? Save recipe. Sure. I can make something. Can I turn off the thing? Let's collect all these and let's get out of here looking for some more recipes and stuff like that luckily though its eyes like glow so you kind of see it before it sees you you would hope anything in here Ooh, what's this all right paul it turns out the moths have uh, many abilities besides speaking human language whoa what they're capable of so i have to report that i'm going to i'm not sure if i'll be back from there but in the name of science i have to check it out I grew... Oh, so that's where he went. I grow new types of moths in the basement. I hope that while I am away, the house will not rot from a large number of different moths. Just in case, I'll block the entrance. If something happens, open... Oh, happens, then I left the key in the attic in the library. Huh? Okay, so we gotta get to the attic library. Well, this is really cool. Wait, I hear something. This is really cool. It's like we're uh, trying to figure out... It's like a little, like, murder mystery, but with killer moths <laughs> oh, oh i thought that was eyes it's just this now watch out for that big one save recipe 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with these. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. I just got up there. Come on. What are you doing up there? There's so many good things up there. Why are you hanging out over there? Oh, look. He's putting me in the cocoon again. Come on, man. <laughs> Stop putting me in the cocoon in the basement. Oh my. Wait, what are these other ones, by the way? Okay, so this is human sized, right? But that, I mean, these might not be humans. These might just be more giant moths but the thing is like they're not killing us so they're not like aggressive so i mean they're kind of friendly in a way Wait, where am i oh my gosh this house is huge man i think i had to go back the other way but i don't know let's just see what's over here then oh oh we're back wait are we back at the start dude this house is gigantic i can't tell <laughs> We had just gotten to the attic, too. That was right where the good stuff was, I feel like. Ooh, I found something. Save recipe. Okay, I got another recipe. Oh, that's the... Wait, th that's the basement? So that means if I go this way... Wait, no, that can't be the same base. Oh, my goodness. All right, we're going to sneak behind that thing. Oh, wow, that's a big mama. All right, that... Yeah, this is a different area. Like, this is where we were before. Ah, perfect, we found it. Okay, so we know where the big moth is now. Imagine having a house this big, though. Oh, my goodness. Being lost in it. Uh, we know where the big moth is now, so... All we gotta do now is explore up here. Now that that thing is downstairs. We got another recipe. Which we haven't really seen what those do. I mean, I... I oh, in the kitchen. It said there was a... Or in, in the library, there's a key. Yeah, this. Give me that. A key for what, though? I don't remember. I thought that was a ladder. What, what did he say the key was for? Oh, I can't believe I forgot. I was too distracted by all the moths. It said, oh, 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 um, it was, it was for, why do I hear that thing? Behind me? I think it's chasing me. I don't know. Oh, recipe, grab and run, grab and run. I, th I think it, it was to, like, stop them or something. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, can we see our, our recipe? Oh, do we almost have all the moths. Oh, my gosh. We almost have all of them. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Do we have so much stuff? What's over here? Show me something good. Show me something. Show me something. There's got to be something good around here. Where am I? I have no idea. <laughs> this house is way too big to burn the whole thing down at this point. It's way too big in here. Oh, that's the way back to the kitchen, right? Okay, let's go back to the kitchen for a second. Let me see. I want to know what these recipes are for. Okay, I can cook. Oh, yeah. But why would I want to... Not enough ingredients. But why would I want to cook this stuff? Ew. Cooking food with moths. That's disgusting. Oh my guys, I pressed start and it restarted the whole game. What? It restarted the whole thing. I lost all of that. All of that that we just did is gone. Wait, why did it do that? All I did was press this and, and somehow it just closed out of the whole game. It took me back to the menu. What? I don't know what just happened. Oh, there's a door here. Oh, I found a bathroom. Hmm. All right, so I caught back up to where I was. I got the key again, but I just been... Oh, a door. Insert... Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, why can't I move? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What did we just release? What is this? Holy moly, it's the Mega Moth. Oh, my goodness. Gigantic. Oh, my God. What is... Ew. Can I capture you? Oh. What's that? Oh. Hello, human. I'm the Moth King's helper. You see, the king can't speak like a human, unlike me. I know the human language, and I can also translate from the language of moths. Our master has dis disappeared from this house, and the Moth King is hungry. He is already tired of eating little moths flying by past him, once he even almost ate me. The king needs to be fed urgently and with normal food. He needs soup, moth soup. There are many types of moths, and if you mix them properly, you'll make a great soup. Please make soup and feed the Moth King. Uh, okay, so that's what the recipes are for. I need to make moth soup. Ew. How many... Wait, which one is the moth soup, though? I, I, they're all moth soups. So, like... <laughs> I guess he just wants any of them? I have no idea. I'll just... I'll collect a bunch of moths and try to feed him his soup, I guess. All right, so I got the moths. Let's go ahead and cook it. And then cake, it's done. All right, let's go give it to him. This one, it's a soup with like one of each moth in it. So this should be pretty good. Thanks, but one pot of soup isn't enough for a king. Make more soup. What? Also, I don't know if the king liked the soup. So it's better, it, 
it's better will be if you make soup from other ingredients. What? That was a, a that was a really good soup. It had one of each moth in it. Like, what more does this guy want? I right, find cook. Um, here you can have you can have this one. I, I don't know what this one is, but you're gonna take it and you're gonna like it, buddy. All right, and if he doesn't like it, he can come up here and get the soup himself. How about that? Thank you, but the king has not eaten for a long time, and two pots of soup is not enough for him. So make another batch of soup. Think he'll have enough. Okay. Really? Another one? Another batch of soup? Why is he so hungry, huh? Makes no sense. All right. Here's another one. Give me this. This better be good enough. This better be good enough. You know how many moths I had to capture? Thank you so much for feeding the Moth King. He really liked your soups. Thank you. So he has powers, and we can finally leave this old house and find yourself another place uh, where there is normal food. I was glad to meet you, but we have to go. Goodbye. What? <laughs> Wait, so then why did the dad go to like some other area? Was he like trying to find a really rare moth? It's, it's gonna blow up the house. There it goes. What on earth? Is that the king or is that like the guy we were just talking to? What the heck? Hey, where's the other guy though? He was pretty big too. Moth house. Hmm. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool game. I like that. Graphics and stuff like that. The environment was really awesome. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 3 Random Horror Games. A lot of fun. A lot of goofiness. A lot of, a lot of laughs. But uh, <laughs> if you guys did, be sure to leave a like on the video down below. Hit that subscribe button right now if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.